Season 1 of Call of Duty Black Ops 6 finally came out and so did Warzone so I got you with the only settings that you need. Alright folks, we're gonna start with our controller settings but before we do that, I'm gonna show you what kind of controller I'm using. I'm using an aim controller that comes with two paddles, or it co usually comes with four paddles but I have fat fingers so I only use the bottom two which is gonna be my um, my jump and my uh, crouch which helps me slide, cancel and all that stuff. I believe this controller has Hall Effect, um, the Hall Stick Effects thing so like I don't have any kind of um, what you call it, it's like stick drift and stuff. But yeah, let's uh, let's go through our um, controller settings. We're gonna start off with uh, obviously our controller. Uh, I don't have any specific button layout or stick layout. Uh, I know some people play like tactical, but I don't. Um, for horizontal stick and the vertical stick sensitivity, you want to be around five to eight. Uh, most pros use six to seven, or uh, I guess like some people do also do uh, use eight. I know a lot of people still like to have like 20-20 sensitivity. I promise you, you're doing your stuff at the service. Unless you're a freaking trick shot or something, then yeah, go ahead. But if you're just a regular guy like me, you know, you might as well put it on the best settings where you can have the most aim assist. Uh, going down the list, uh, make sure you have your control vibration off. Uh, trigger effect, I don't use anything. Um, but one of the most important things that we're going to talk about is your dead zone inputs. Make sure you have, uh, I know some people like to have their left stick mint on one, which basically just makes it to where um, you're, it basically just makes your left stick respond way faster than, than um, normal. Um, also comes with um, your right stick minimum. Um, this really depends on how much stick drift your um, controller have. Um, I tried zero, I tried one, I tried three, but two is my sweet spot. Even though I don't have any stick drift, it just like, it makes sense for me. But um, yeah, the low, you want it as low as you can. All right, moving on to aiming, we're going to be talking about my sensitivity multiplier. I use 0.85 on my multiplier focus. Um, I honestly don't know what it does. I think it's uh, when you're aiming downside or something. Not sure. But um, let's move on to our aiming advanced settings. Uh, I don't have any look inversion on. I have uh, gradual sensitivity transition timing. And my aim response curve type is still dynamic. I know a lot of people have been talking about um, linear. But in, in all honesty, I, I, I still like my dynamic. I do have custom sensitivity zoom, uh, 0.95 on the low zoom and then 1.3 on everything else, which um, whenever I'm aiming down sight with a, with a sniper or like a 4X or something like that, my aim is like not slow, like slow, slow, you know what I'm saying? Um, because sometimes it, it, it does get me killed whenever um, I'm um, like trying to catch on to the person in front of me, like moving and sliding and stuff. Make sure your target aim assist is on. There is no type of aim assist type, so there's only one aim assist. Moving on to movement, make sure you have tactical sprint assist on. Uh, and also make sure your sprint delay is at zero. I think by default, it's at 350 or something like that. I uh, also have sideways and backwards. I don't have mental assist. I don't have crouch assist. I don't. I do have corner slice. I do like corner slice. Uh, it just like tilts your, like, your gun a little bit whenever you, you're pushing your corner. I like that. I, so, so this is the biggest debate with a lot of uh, movement people. Um, what type of movement behavior do you want? A lot of people use hybrid, but for me, I like tap, tap to slide. I, I just, I can move way better with tap to slide. And like, it's literally, you tap to slide and you hold to dive, you know? But with hybrid, you have to hold the sprint input to dive. Moving on down, I don't, I do have automatic air more mantle. I have sprint restore, slide maintain, sprint. Uh, make sure your parachute behavior is going to be on free fall or off to be honest because you don't want to have automatic redeploy if you want to be like as close to, as you want to the ground. Uh, mantle cancels reload. I think I kind of want to turn this off but we'll see how it is whenever we're playing Warzone how it's going to affect. You know I, I, I like to mantle on things. Moving on to movement advanced settings. Um, I don't think I have anything here different except tactical sprint activation. I, some people use single tap run. I like single tap sprint. Moving on to combat. Um, honestly, there's really not the biggest thing here to change except um, for your interact slash roll behavior. Whenever you do switch over to Warzone, you're probably gonna want to have prioritized interact so you can loot your, um, your stuff way faster. So instead of having to hold your square button or your whatever button you are for, uh, for um, interacting, you just tap it once and you picked it up. Yeah, gang, I really do hope that y'all have the best time of your life in this new Warzone. It's looking very promising to me. Uh, although, I'm, I must say, I'm not the biggest fan of Area 99. I might change my mind when we get to finally play it. But from the looks of it right now, man, I'm not really 
excited like how I was from the, the other maps, but we'll see. We're going to give it the benefit of the doubt. You know, we're, we're going to be, um, what's it, optimistic? Is that the right word? Um, but yeah, comment down below. What's going to be your first loadout? Like, what do you, what, what, what guns are you going to be rocking? What perks are you going to be rocking? Because there's a lot of things. 177 weapons. 177 weapons. Let me know down below, chat. Uh, I, I would really, really love to. But um, yeah, catch you on the next video. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be posting a whole lot more with the new Warzone coming out. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you.